up? It's me, Lena, and I'm back with season two, episode two of Best Was Never. It premiered tonight because we're doing a whole week of premieres. So basically, this episode was just about not caring what other people think and just being yourself and enjoying yourself and not caring about what people are going to do in school. If people going to try to hurt you somehow and try to send viral videos. What really got me on this episode was they in 10th grade now, but like, they jump back to sixth grade and they have freaking selfie sticks and iPhones. So I was like, wait, what? But then I was like, well, that was just a few years ago and they're not that old. So I'm like, I think they must have to be 15. Because selfie sticks didn't exist in like 2011 or 2012. So this had to be like in 2013 or something. It had to be a few years back. So I'm just like, bruh, how are they doing this? Unless they jump some grades or whatever, but I don't know. So Nardo, he was basically trying to find a good whole seat in the little new garage that they made Barry because he, he said the Montoyas they find one seat and they sit in it forever his dad sitting in his recliner for 25 years and that's a love he will always want to have so basically show was trying to teach Brett and Chet for a sixth sixth grade dance this routine that Sid and Shug was going to do back when they was in sixth grade they sixth grade dance if the power didn't go out but you know Sid was like it's probably best we didn't do it anyway because these girls Bianca Brooke and something else they was so mean they was like the b squad and they would like b blast everybody like if somebody did something that's slightly embarrassing then they would go and post it all on the internet and send it to everybody in the school anyway so yeah so then they ended up kind of just really scaring brett and chad into not wanting to do their sixth grade dance they wasn't trying to but that's what happened because then barry started talking about how he went through his thing he was trapped in the closet crying and not split his pants and they got sent to the whole school so then she was like, well, you know what? We're not going to let them miss that huge night. We got to go do it. So Sid was like, well, maybe, you know, Sid, Sid was like, Brett and Chet always miss big things. They was they was like, where's the Ferris wheel? And they was on the Ferris wheel. So it's okay. They didn't have to do that. So then Sid was like, look, we can't jump back to sixth grade either because then, you know, Barry's going to be like, oh, no, y'all going to mess up the time continuum or like mess up a pair of socks or something. So then she's like, see, Barry, I listened. But then he was like, no, I do want y'all to jump back so he can, so they can fix his mess that or that thing that happened with him being in the trash can and in the closet so they could fix that so then she's like fine they'll go fix that but they're not gonna do that dance they're not gonna do it she did not want to do it so they jumped back and Sid was like i don't know why i wore this bad outfit and then she was like your mom told you not to wear it she's like yeah but my mom can't tell me what to do so i'm gonna wear it anyway so when they do the you know the selfie thing they be like you can them they can see it it's they self as how they was back in sixth grade and it was really big nada was really big too he's like the tall sixth grade so this is what happened Shelby and Sid they split up Shelby's gonna go find Barry and then Sid was gonna go find Nardo before he split his pants it's like bro meanwhile the dad was like boys what are you doing here and, she, and they was like well, this is the end of the stairs I gotta be right here they wasn't going to the dance and he was like well, okay well I can't find a babysitter on such short notice and I was taking my mom to dinner so y'all gonna stay home by yourself don't answer the door to nobody don't answer the phone don't do nothing that so then, then he was like I left my wallet so then he, they, they was like no you can't answer the door Chet it's a test but then they framed from down the street named Neil. He came down the street and said, like, you want to come in? So then Chet was like, you got to let him in. And Brett was like, no, we can't. We can't let him in. So then Chet was like, look, we got to let him inside. This is my friend. I want to hang out with him. So then he made like a little mess. Then Brett was like, look, he's a party animal. He's wrecking the whole house. So he had to try to keep. Then Brett kept trying to clean up after everybody in there, Neil and Chet, because Chet kept dropping popcorn. So he was like, look, we're not going to do this. You're not going to do this to me. You're not going to make me feel bad. So then he ended up vacuuming Chet's shirt off. And then they started fighting. So then when they started fighting, Neil was like, oh, um, you know, he had to grab up everything. Because he was about to break all of Astrid's accent speed pieces that make the room, like, accentuate the room. He was about to break all of that. Like, they was about to break all of it. So Neil was like, I'm not about to do this with y'all. I'm leaving. Bye. But then all this stuff fell on the floor because the dad freaking bumped into him. Then he was like, look, you're not going nowhere. But then he mentioned that he was wearing black shoes with a brown jacket, which I guess is... It's kind of a weird color combination. I wouldn't wear black, brown and black unless I had multiple brown and black things. So, yeah. I guess you're not supposed to wear brown and black. But I guess you can wear whatever you want to make you happy. Anyway, so, yeah. Then they, they got in trouble. Well, they know. They didn't get in trouble. Because then, then the dad ended up leaving the mom at the restaurant. But he had to go buy a diamond necklace first. So he can, like, make up to her for leaving her there. So, they didn't get in trouble. It was pretty good. But meanwhile, back to Sid and Shelby. Shelby went in the closet and got locked in the freaking closet. She got locked in the closet and Barry was in the closet too. He was in the mop, the trash can. And then she almost got out. She was going to go through the vent, just like in every Disney show where they have everybody go through the vent when they locked somewhere. But she didn't get to make it through. So I was like, okay, what's going to happen? Then Sid 
you see it was trying to find out when Nardo was gonna split his pants because he kept bending over and kept bending over and then she ended up splitting her pants so then she got bee blasted by the little bees by the little bees and it's like okay anyway so then it was like, okay, well, now they got to see what's going to happen. And Shelby, she didn't know what was going on. She was like, oh, my gosh, she didn't want to do this. She shouldn't have did this. And then he was like, Barry admitted why he climbed in the trash cans because he spilled punch all over himself in his problem area on his pants. And then he was just like, bruh, he had to go in there. So now they got to see what's going to happen with that. They didn't realize that she did not need she did not not to have fun she's like look the principal's having fun he don't care about no anything so she was like she had to go find shelby to go see what shelby was gonna do like can they go do the dance because she wanted to do the dance because she wanted to have fun but shelby really didn't want to do that because then she was like well i should go get sid because we shouldn't do the dance so shelby was at the power Shelby was at the power thing and sid was like kind of more embarrassed because she went up there trying to dance and then shelby didn't show so then sid was actually the one that put the power back in the day Oh, actually, when they jumped back, then she stopped the power so they couldn't dance because she thought they was going to be embarrassed. But now they okay. So they finally went and did their little cute routine. And that was nice. I don't know why they was doing old school dances, though. When it was a sixth grade dance. I don't know why they was doing old school dances. They was, like, doing really, really old dances. But, yeah. So Barry and Otto, they ended up being happy about being in a trash can and splitting their pants. They really didn't care because they was having a good time. So I don't know how. I think I would think that that would have to mess up the time continuum, continuum somehow. I would think that would, but I guess not. Anyway, so they end up being back in a regular spot. I don't know, where, where do they go? Like, where does Barry and Nardo go when they jumped? Like, do they just stay in their house? Or, like, where do they, I don't know. Anyway, like, this this time stop, this time stop with Barry and Nardo and Sid and Shelby, or this time just stop with Sid and Shelby and keep going with Brett and Chet? That's just, I don't get that, I don't understand it. Anyway, but yeah, I think that being okay, then Brett and Chet, they're going to go to their school dance, and their suits cost $2,000, I guess, each. So now they was like, look, I bet you $2,000, they're not going to come back clean. So at the end, Brett and Chet, they couldn't do their whole routine because Shelby didn't teach them the whole routine because she went and jumped back in time. And just like, boom, bam, that was it. They didn't get to it. So they, I guess they didn't really embarrass themselves because they did what they wanted to do, but then they didn't finish it the whole thing. And those those mean little girls, they're not even in there no more. So, you know, because I think they should, I don't know. Yeah, they shouldn't have been there. And then Daisy wasn't in this episode either. So I don't know when they're going to show Daisy some more. Like, where was Daisy? I guess she was learning. I don't know. Where would they leave Daisy? They, they would have to keep Daisy on watch because she'd come from another century. So it's like, anyway. But yeah, so guys, that was the whole review slash recap. The next episode will come on tomorrow night. It come on every night up until Friday. The last night is Friday. Then tomorrow is what? Wednesday? So we got three more episodes to watch. This is pretty exciting. I don't know why they're doing this though. Because then they're going to spill out all the episodes faster. I feel like Disney's trying to get all the episodes out faster. Because it's only it's the second season. Normally they cancel shows on the fourth or fifth season. So I'm like, they're going to get to the season real quick. And the show's going to get canceled. So I don't know why they're doing it. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.